In our local election coverage tonight, we have an update on the race for Congressional District 21. This is the rematch between T.J. Cox and David Valadeo. Fresno County released counts for another 48,000 ballots today. CBS 47's Jocelyn Moran is live from the Fresno County Elections Office, and Jocelyn Valadeo still leading in Fresno County. Yeah, that's right. Now, these results just came out a couple of hours ago. He's leading in Fresno County by about 1,500 votes, but there are still thousands of ballots to process in Fresno County and the other counties with, that fall within the 21st Congressional District. Although Republican David Valadeo has a lead over Democrat incumbent T.J. Cox in the race for the 21st Congressional District as of Friday afternoon, ballots are still left to be counted and the race is too close to call. This especially after 2018 when Valadeo was projected the winner until weeks later and all votes were counted, giving Cox the victory by just 862 votes. May we may not know until December. It may be like last year. This may be the last House race to be called. Thomas Holyoke is a political science professor at Fresno State. He says he thinks it's possible that the race will be just as close as it was in 2018. The 21st Congressional District includes Kings County and parts of Fresno, Tulare, and Kern Counties. As of Friday afternoon, Valadeo leads in Kings County, trails in Kern County, and is neck and neck with Cox and Tulare and Fresno Counties. Both Cox and Valadeo's team declined requests for interviews today. According to the Secretary of State's website, Website, there are still tens of thousands of ballots left to be processed and counted in these counties combined, but it's unclear how many of those ballots fall in the 21st Congressional District. As votes come in, and it's entirely possible that many of the votes yet to come in from you know, Fresno, Kings, and Kern counties uh, may be the very kind of mail-in votes that, uh, you know, that's been breaking for the Democrats kind of across the nation, which means Cox could slowly start to close the gap. Again, exactly like two years ago. And as far as Fresno County, there are still about 38,000 ballots left to be processed in, in addition to any ballots that were postmarked by November 3rd and are received by November 20th. The next results update will be on Tuesday. Live in downtown Fresno, Jocelyn Moran, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.